Hey everyone, you guys are here already. Hello. Uh, <laughs> everyone's here. So today we're going to be making this, you guys. Um, I have Nancy here. She's going to be... I'm here, I'm here. Song. Hello. <laughs> Nancy's going to be sewing with me and Nancy's going to do the version without the fleece. So we'll see if that works because I, I only use the fleece and it's it hug really... I guess it, it fit really well with the fleece but I, i'm not sure if the one without the fleece will you know fit really well but we're gonna see how nancy turn out because she's gonna do without the fleece so i leave all the dimension down below and um in the description so if you guys want to make your own version um all the dimension is inside of the description box for each binder um each binder size, it has a different dimension for the exterior interior um, fabric. So make sure you guys uh, look over it. But if you guys are doing the zipper, like the pouch right here, it's, the dimension will be the same. The only dimension that will be different is this uh, front, this front fabric and the inside fabric, which is inside, inside. So they will be different for each um, binder size. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I pre cut mine. Did you pre cut your Nancy? Yes. I have. Okay. It's all pre cut. But like, I have literally not just cut now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have not cut my fleece. So I need to cut the fleece and the fuse. So I when think I messaged the fleece... you for the link is when I finished cutting the fabric. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's a pretty fast cut. So, and you guys can really do this like really fast. It's not um, it's not a really it's not a hard project. Like the zipper is super easy. I thought the zipper was gonna be complicated, but it's really easy to sew up the zipper. So, I need to cut this and then i'm gonna fuse because i have not fused um my fleece yet so so nancy you can start to prepare um you can prepare the pocket so for the pocket you have to fold it in half i think it's um 20 by 13 so you can fold the pocket in half and then you need to um fold the top here half inch in because this is gonna go on the zipper so, am i gonna need to iron anything i mean if you if you want it to be precise i think i would iron it <laughs> did you already do yours so, no i'm doing mine right now okay. i'm gonna press i'm still pressing mine and then i need to go press the fleece okay. on i'll get my iron hey juana Hey, Corny. Hey, Evelyn. Sandy, Liz. Everybody's here. <laughs> Naro, um, Robin, Laura. <gasps> no, you stupid. Um, if if any of you are new, and I have I don't know your name yet. Um, welcome to the channel. And I also link Nancy uh, channels in the description, so if you guys can subscribe to her, she do embroidery and also sewing on her channel and also etsy she do etsy and you know she do lives too so if you guys can do you guys have not subscribed to her yet i don't have the chat open yet because for some reason it doesn't show me on here so i'm trying to get it on my computer on your phone so this little binder thing um I would just I came, I came up with the I saw the, I saw it on a blog and it's super I was cute. like yeah. seriously I know it's a that's a super cute idea because if you guys have some you know cotton laying around you guys can use it up to make a cover for your this is your binder so they can make your binder look cute. I mean, the binder I used to store on my 
my business receipt and other things. So I think it's a neat idea. And you can use whatever cotton fabric you guys have. These are just quotes and cotton. So you guys can see here, I am going to be ironing this on with the fusible fleece. So I'm gonna go to my iron and then Nancy, we can prepare the, um, I'm gonna turn this way. Sorry, you guys. Right here <laughs> on my little, okay. I got a little table. So mine's over here. So you can you can fold your uh, fold your um, pocket in half and then uh, fold the edge the raw edge like a half inch. How is everybody today, you guys? Oh my gosh, today I didn't. It's not productive for me. I was just relaxing all day. How are you, Nancy? Uh, I'm good. I got my room clean. Yay! That's good. Yep. That's I, did I something productive. <laughs> just before the last. Oh. <laughs> I cleaned it up, cut my fabric out, and hopped on here. Hey, Sarah. Okay. Hey, Denny. Hey, Jill. Hey, Susie. Good evening. Up. No, I'm not coming to clean yours, Liz. It took me 30 minutes just to clean mine. Ha! <laughs> 30 minutes? That was fast. Yeah. No, Did you have a lot of <laughs> That's not fast in my opinion. Oh. Yeah, I would take... I don't want to spend any more than like five minutes cleaning anything. So, there's that. So. Oh, <laughs> ooh! Juana said orders. she just cool. three orders. Yay, Juana! That's Good great. Time. That's productive. Um, I I got two order, but I was like, now nah, I want to relax today. <laughs> so I gotta, right. I gotta work tomorrow. What did I do today? I think I was pretty lazy today because Brooklyn was yes. Brooklyn was being pretty needy, and oh, uh, you were just hanging out with Brooklyn? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything productive. Hey, Angela. Oh, Mary's productive. Hey, Angela. Video. Hey, Carolyn. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I didn't even really say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chat uh, went up pretty quick. Oh, I know what I did today. I made my meal plan for the week. And then I went shopping for those ingredients. And then I picked up Malia from her papa's house. And then I came home and cooked. And then got ready for the life. I, I was just like home and then I went to the park and just came home and just rest. I just rest all day. Wasn't productive, but hey, I cut up these this morning. So. <laughs> and uh, I sold the first uh, one just to test it out. Yeah. This is a super cute project. I'm excited to see how these fabrics that I chose come together oh yeah so by the way this is kind of a scrappy project because it doesn't really have to be all kinds of um fancy prints yeah you just use whatever fabric yeah. you don't like i don't know or laying around i and had a bunch of this I think you can even embroider too. Like I thought about embroidering something. I thought about like, embroidering the pocket too. Yeah. Yeah, like for the pocket here, you guys could embroider your name yeah. or whatever you guys want. But I just left it plain for this because I ain't I got didn't. time for that today. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> I, don't have time. 
I don't have time to embark today. So I was like, no, nah, we're just gonna leave it plain. Okay, so you said fold the pocket in half. Yeah, and then you have to, uh, you know, the, the raw edge at the, when you fold it in half like this, um, there's this raw edge, you have to fold a half inch in because this is gonna go on, on the zipper. Boat? Yeah, because you're gonna sew this on the zipper like this. The zipper, you're gonna sew down yeah. the zipper like on this. So you need to fold in like the, the fraying edge inside. Ooh, embroidering on the spine, yeah. Oh yeah, I think you can do that. If you don't want the pocket, because the pocket do come to the spine right here, see that a little bit? Hmm. Maybe you can you can cut this off a little bit and make it go in the front and then you can embroider on the spine right here. But I thought about it, but I was like, I think I have to um not do the pocket or make the pocket smaller and then embroider here. Yeah, I thought about embroidering on the pocket earlier when you when you sent me the pictures, but I didn't know exactly how it would fit on the project. Oh. So I was like, eh. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah. So for the first round, I would try to just do it without embroidering, and then when you see how it comes together, you can embroider after like the next one. <laughs> so, um, I'm a little slow. Am I folding? the seam together or separate? Uh, separate. So each of them are, you're gonna create a half inch in this way and then half inch on this way. Okay. So yeah, because they need to okay. be separate. Because, so yeah, so you can put your hand through. And then you still want to the, um, I need my ruler zipper. My ruler. So the this fleece is fusible, so I'm trying to fuse it right now. Um, it just gives the the binder cover a little bit more body and structure. If you have a fusible fleece, yeah. Man, Cloud, he is crazy. Okay, I already told my husband. I think they, they'll come get him in a little bit. <sighs> he always need me. I cannot do anything. <laughs> Brooklyn was extra today. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was okay this morning, but now I think it's almost bedtime, so he's getting crazy again. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want his dad around this time. Yeah, both one is the same. Are they asleep? Oh, yeah. I put them in the bed at 8 o'clock, honey. Oh. Yeah, I changed their bedtime to 8 o'clock on school nights. And I love it. Because they're going to get up no matter what. They're going to get up early. Whether they mm -hmm. go to bed early or go to bed late. So, girl, I'm getting my me time. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my pockets now. Poor Cloudy. <laughs> He's struggling. Yeah, he <laughs> No my hus my husband got him now. So. Okay, so I hope you guys um if you guys are doing this later, you guys can see what we're doing. We're just folding the pocket in half and then we are creating we are also in enclosing the um the raw edge up oh, here in half kind of so Okay. Are you done with um yours, Nancy? I'm slow. Okay. Almost. I'm almost done. 
let me finish mine then we can move on to the trim we have to do to the trim and then the flap and then we're done <laughs> well, then we're gonna go slow so yeah. uh, so on the uh, on the flap you just fold it in half that's all you have to do and half um the thank you sandy yeah you, you have to find the right way because if you did because you know one is 12 inch so i think one size 12 inch and then one is 13 inch so let me yeah see. so you have to fold it um yeah and i did mine as a directional thing so i hope i got it right because i don't have any more this yeah. so you are going to fold the 13 hey, inch. inch to me so this this is the 12 inch side and this is the 13 inch side so the 13 mm -hmm. inch has to meet together right wrong side to wrong side so for the hot dog style not yeah okay like that um, and right side together iron. or no, wrong side okay so wrong side and iron it flat mm -hmm. are we doing the seam of uh, folding in a seam here too or just fold it in half uh, just fold in half because this this okay. one doesn't need the little crease the little crease right there was for the zipper so this this okay. is the zipper pocket some of the questions i asked are also for the viewers so for like people yeah. Ask, uh yeah coming in later that's good just asking for clarification hey joanna hey joanna oh nancy you got a copy link hmm? so cindy yeah, yeah, your Yay. So here's here's one of them. Did I do it right? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's yeah, directional. Maybe. Yeah. Be my other one. Like for the coffee link, does when they buy you a coffee, um, is it just the fun just go toward coffee or like you take it out and you you'll buy your own coffee i don't know how that you thing take works. it out and buy your own coffee oh so it's just like donating yeah. money yeah my starbucks friend. i think i see somebody has a soda link to like i think last time robin because some people don't drink coffee i think they have like buy me a soda pop or... yeah you don't have to use it for coffee so it's yeah. just called buy me a coffee oh <laughs> yeah you could get it you could use it for tea or i yeah, think you could so even use it for i mean you could use it for whatever you want so you could get like supplies for your business too oh yeah because you cash it out to your bank account so kind of like cash out too right yeah and yeah. let me go like this video real quick yeah so so anybody if you guys are new you guys don't know who nancy is that's nancy and she also has a youtube channel so if you guys can go subscribe to her she does in boring oh good boring. morning Duffy. Duffy's here <laughs> yeah hey Duffy. Hi, Letitia. Duffy. hi connie hey cc I know I saw your name earlier, but I didn't say hello. <laughs> I never did a, a formal hello. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, Ollie. What's next, Lee? What are you doing this? So, um, it's still on the pocket. <laughs> I'm still on the oh, pocket. Okay. So the last thing is the trim. So the trim, you're going to follow the hug hugged that way and then you're gonna meet the two like the two raw edge to meet the center of the line that you created from the huddle so let me do this quickly and then i can show you the trim oh i know what you're talking about yeah i know what you're talking about so the trim is just full this is the trim so fold in half and then open it up and then fold the two raw edge like this to meet it in the middle like this and then it'll just be one strip like that 
So let me do this quick. It, the, the, I promise you guys, this is an easy, fast project, but it's just a prep, some prep work that you guys have to do in the beginning, like ironing these and then cutting all your strip. So I think anybody can make this binder cover because it's super easy. And you'll be able to sew up the zipper <laughs> if you guys never sewn a zipper before. You have um, not done that. You have not sewn a zipper before, right? No. Yeah, I have. I'm gonna need my zipper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I have. Quite a few. Actually. And you sew it for garments or? Did you use? Um, so I, I made Brooklyn um, a couple of sleep sacks. Um, I did a um, sleeper romper thingy, the zip up footed, footless, sorry, footless romper. Oh, and um, you attached I did a couple of bags, um, little uh, box bags. Yeah, they're not, they're not too bad, right? No. I'm not scared of them. I was the first mm -hmm. time, but I, I think the most. The one that kind of got me was like if you have a lined bodice, because you had to sew the lined bodice oh, to cover the zipper. That that one's mm -hmm. a little bit tricky. Yeah. All right, let me dig down here for my zipper foot. I haven't used it in a hot minute. Um, I don't use a zipper throat. I just use the regular well my it's pretty I mean you should if you if you have a wider foot mine's not too wide it's really narrow so I'm just gonna sew it from my regular foot is this the zipper foot it should be uh, really hang on. let's see hey Dana I'm yeah. against the, the black. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that should work? Yeah, because it's skinny. <laughs> I think that was good. And you can cross. Yeah, I think that's it. Mary, you, you okay. have one for buying lottery ticket? Yeah, we should do a pool lottery Hi, ticket. Hi, Dana. All right, we are you at? Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do oh, the zipper I'm next. Dropping. So zipper everything. So I'm gonna turn you guys around this way. Okay, turn around. I'm gonna block this. So. We're back over here on the, so for the zipper, we got to do the zipper pocket first. So you are going to use the, this, the zipper pocket. And you're going to attach it to the bottom of the zipper, just like that, in, in between, in between the flap. Let me move my stuff. And then you're just gonna sew straight across. I need my um. Thank you, CC. Um, it was a gift for Christmas. Yeah, that was from Liz, right? Yeah, <laughs> Liz. It was a gift. Hey, Oli. Uh, thank you, Oli. Yeah, we like to share what we are doing. I mean, to inspire you guys. And this month, I am still doing my challenge. If you guys follow along, I think it's uh, it's going okay so far. <laughs> I'm not 
I'm not finished completely with my fabric organization today, so hopefully I'll, I'll finish a little bit of it mm -hmm. tomorrow. But yeah, there is a lot of fabric. Like, look at my closet. It's like full over there. I need to organize it. Like, I am at my maximum capacity. This is not for this machine. Doesn't doesn't fit? No, it doesn't. Wait. So, well, I'm gonna need some. It's the same thing. I need some uh, pens oh, to pen down your. What's wrong with it? I was doing it in the middle. I gotta do it to the side. <laughs> So I'm gonna pin my pocket now. Yeah, don't laugh at me. What's wrong? Did you did you put it in wrong? Yeah, I was struggling with the um zipper foot, and I was putting it in the wrong way. Um. Oh. So what? I can't. You're off camera. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. So you see the pocket? You're gonna in, encase it in the. The zippers are going between. between the two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then you're just gonna sew it across. Up or down? You want it to close up, right? Yeah. So I will face um uh, the the zipper pull on the right hand. Okay. Because you're gonna open from top to down. So. Are you using pins or clips? Pins? Because I don't think you cannot clip this. Mm, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you can try it. No, I'm just using to... <laughs> Go I the think brain. the pin the pin hey, holds better, but try the clip. Hey Sonia. Hey Robin, Sonia and Pauline. Good evening, ladies. Man, my fabric is not aligned. What is wrong? Are we gonna run a basting stitch or just sew it? Nope, I just sew it straight. Shh. No, go. No, I'm on the live. Go. Don't come in here asking me all the questions. <laughs> no. Bye, child. No, I cannot. Is that your older child? Not, they're not sleeping. Yeah, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm asking me for Snapchat. No, you can not have Snapchat. <laughs> and when did they go to bed, your um, teenage kid? Um, supposed to be 10, but. You know, they do what they want. Hey, Sandra. Uh, Sandra, we are making hey, a, Sandra. a binder cover. So I will show you in a little bit after I clip this. I'll show you the end result. I made one this morning. So you can have a visual of how it looked like. So, so you, you're gonna do the same to the trim. You're gonna sandwich the everything with the trim, just so the trim's gonna be on top. So after you sew the zipper oh, pouch, okay, the bottom, I then the trims go on top. Yeah. Gotcha. So, Sandra, we are making this. This is a binder, uh, just a three ring binder, and then we're making one with a zipper pouch like this so you can put like pins whatever you need to put in here so it look like that and we're just using regular quotes and cotton so i'm going to take you guys to my sewing machine now okay hopefully you guys are not oh, too you're dizzy doing them one at a time yeah I, I mean, you could uh, clip it on top. I just do this because I think it's I'm easier for me to sew. You can clip in and just sew it. 
right around it, but I am um, doing one at a time. So. Okay, so this one you just so everything. So when you sew, I would open the zipper at the top a little bit. So and then just sew it straight. And once you sew past it a little bit, just zip the zipper back so you can just sew all the way. Zip it back. You gotta zip it back. No, no, I cannot see my fabric. Oh, yeah, hold <laughs> on. I'm just using um. Some fabric hey, that I had bought for other projects that <laughs> I'm not going to. Joanne, Joanne, we just yeah, we just started a little bit ago, so you're not too late. Yeah, you're not too late. Yeah, we just started selling. We were just preparing the fabric. Oh, Nancy, we are doing tropical. I mean, you're doing tropical. I did the pineapple on yeah. this one, and then this one I'm using. The flower, because I'm like, uh, I want to do some flowers. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I, I have a hard time choosing the one for the pocket, but I just went with so, the thing. Um, I had bought these two prints from Hobby Lobby, um, back oh. in 2020 for making face masks, the reversible, oh, so like bananas, right. Yeah, but then whatever. <laughs> um, and then I didn't get very far with that because I hated doing masks. Um, and then I bought some fat quarters and stuff to make um a quilt. Mm -hmm. And I'm working. I decided to go with the sunflowers for the actual quilt. So um, I just I'm kind of pairing this with it. This is going to be the inside fabric. Mm -hmm. Um, this is gonna be the main fabric. This is the pocket, and then the black is the trim. The trim, and then the mm -hmm. um the flaps are gonna be the pineapple. pineapples, whatever huh. they're called. <laughs> words, <laughs> all the words. So my we'll zipper longer. Term. So it's, I'm it's gonna, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sew mine open, and then close it before I finish it. Cause yeah, you're gonna trim everything at the end anyway. So yes, does it matter how long your zipper is? Um, what stitch length does it matter? Um, no, I just do two point five. No, two point five. Okay. That's what it's automatically yeah. set up. So. Yeah. So. I hate this. It shipped on me. Oh well. It's gonna be tram anyway at the end. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look, like I didn't sew perfectly right here. <laughs> This one has a little bit, like, it's off a little bit right here, but it's okay because these bottoms can be trimmed off at the end. Yeah. And then this is the trim piece that we did earlier. So we are going to match it at the top, just like this.
pen it down. Yeah, there we go. I don't get it right. I'm struggling over here. With the zipper file? Yeah. Okay, let me get my pick. Can you do it? Okay, so <laughs> it's hey Shar. I don't know why it's bunching. That. I mean, have you used it, the zipper foot before? Uh, not on this machine. I've used it on my the baby brother. Mm. Is is that the one that you won from? This one is the one I won from Sew Machines Plus. Yeah. Okay. Hey Joanne. Hey Shar. Yep. Hashtag words. All the words. Okay. So, sew the trim tag. That tomorrow is Monday already. That means I gotta get up early in the morning to take more little food. Yeah. You, you're the only one that take them to school and back, right? Correct. Why? Mm. Why is this here? Why are you here? Why? That was fast. <laughs> this nope. machine is pretty fast. So I'm gonna try. There, okay. I finished my um my zipper pocket, you guys. It's all finished. So when you open up, it's gonna be like this, and you're gonna put your hand in like that, so you can put whatever. Well, then you left me in the dust. <laughs> so now we are gonna build a, a sandwich. We're gonna make a sandwich. This next part is gonna be a, a big old sandwich. I'll, I'll wait for Nancy to get this machine done. We're making a sandwich. Well, there's one side. So this whole project is like a big old sandwich. Oh! That jumped on my screen. Haven't sewn this up in a while. I'm gonna be proud of when I do it again. Yeah, this is um not my best work. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna do that. I don't remember. It, it's a sandwich. Do you need help? Who me? No. Yeah. Are you figuring? I'm just trying out? to figure out how I did it. The first time. I'm good. I got it. You got a super oh, chat. Oh, hey, Lily. Oh, thank you so much, Lily. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, Lily. I appreciate it. I mean, everything that you guys give me, it's going back toward uh, more YouTube tutorial for you guys and more awesome content, okay? So thank you so much for the super chat. 
so for next week, you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. I'm in inviting Naomi as a guest speaker for next week, and we are gonna talk about, um, you know, like all the tax stuff. Um, she's she's not a CPA, so why you got a, why we, you got a curse on your live? You said that you said the curse word taxes. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Oh my God, you you caught me off guard, man. I thought I did tax. <laughs> Naomi, I was. Yeah, I don't know if Naomi is on here tonight, but she is gonna be the guest speaker for Saturday the twelfth, and sh she doesn't have a channel yet, but. She is gonna build one, so hopefully, I hope she build one by the time, so I can link her YouTube. And she has a lot of business, hey, so Penn. she really know about, um, you know, like what you guys need to prepare if you guys are starting for start to go into business. So we're gonna address all all about like the the EIN, what's an EIN, all those kind of stuff like those are a little bit confusing i was confused in the beginning then i mean i'm still confused on some of the things <laughs> because there's a there's a lot of legal documentations um mm -hmm. you guys need and plus this year on etsy um if you guys are selling on etsy if you make 600 or more mm -hmm. uh, you have to report it now like this year they report well. it that was always there though i know but they're like, gonna do it that... for you so that you can't get out of it yeah. that's all it is i know that people hasn't been reporting because they made less than you know a certain amount yeah. of money so if you make ten thousand or more they send you a 1099 but if you don't you start to report it um i i have a uh, maybe a problem yeah i mean so we're not gonna say anything i mean <laughs> I lined this up. okay it's like okay. it's a good <laughs> um it's a little closer on this end but okay, is that because um because we have a five a same allowance so that's still you're gonna give you plenty yeah, of room that's, um... you just have to line everything with you with the other you know the pocket because the pocket is longer so let's go over here and i'll show you since you're done with that so here's the sandwich that we're gonna build so we're gonna build a sandwich now so this is the the exterior fabric okay so you're gonna lay this facing you with the right side facing you and then you're gonna put the pocket here let me do this on, on my table yeah, you need a table because you are building <laughs> this big old sandwich. So from here, you it needs to go one and a half Sorry. inch. Wait, before we build a sandwich, we have to attach this uh, pocket first. So you want to put this pocket um, one and a half inch away from this edge on the right hand side. And one and a half inch. Here so I can see what you're doing. Because I can't see you. You said the pocket. Let me grab my pocket. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, Lily. Yeah, no problem. Um, I think you you can do without the zipper foot, but I think it'll be hard because you want it to get as close as possible to the zipper T. So if you don't have the zipper foot, this might be far too far off. So um, you can also do without the, the zipper pocket. Like you can just do this part and then the flap like this and then the this piece and that that's all you have to do if you don't want a pocket 
So this zipper pocket is optional. I just think that, you know, it, um, it'll be neat. Like you can put pencil in here. If you have your binder with you, you can put pencil, some notepads in here, whatever you want to put in here. So I just thought like doing the whole thing. Oh, Lily, thank you so much. Many feet guys, I'm sorry, machine that I. Oh, yes, Joanne. Um, there is a lot. Let me show you guys. Um, this, this singer machine, I have a whole tub of it. Like, look, I have all these. These are all my little hemming um, attachment. And then I have. I think this is the um this is like for quoting. It has this quoting feet. And then I, I love these Teflon. These are Teflon um feet. So it's plastic or versus um this one, this one's metal. So these one are for zipper too, but they're Teflon, so you can sew like a clear vinyl so they don't get st stuck. So yeah, there, there's a lot of feet. <laughs> this one does not do buttons, so I don't have a button feet for this machine, but my Bernina has a, a button foot. So Nancy, so for, for the, we have to attach this first. So on the right mm. side, we are gonna put the, the zipper pouch one and a half inch away from the edge from okay. the right side, right hand side. So we're gonna attach that first and then we will do the sandwich. And then I'm gonna put pens through them. Nancy, did you list finish a lot yesterday? I didn't. I only came on to check on you guys for like 10 minutes. Because <laughs> I, um, I went to bed. I did three um, designs. And then she did her shirt. Hey, Alicia. Are you making Alicia's here. Alicia. So were you making sample for the Etsy shop? Yeah. I was doing my um, Easter samples. Oh. I have not done anything, <laughs> but I think I'm good because I don't think I want to make anything new for Etsy. <laughs> but I'm going to try to do a pinning, tutorial. Oh, we're yeah. pinning this side down too? Yeah, because you're going to sew this flap, I mean the bottom flap and then the flap over here. You're gonna all right. Let me get my off. pins. I guess. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you I don't have to pin. Don't stab myself. I don't. I don't. But hey, do you guys want to learn how to make these? These are like little pin cushion. I made these. Um, you could just put on your wrist like this. I probably do a video tutorial for you guys. It's a pattern I got from Etsy, and it's a just a flower pin cushion where you can just. Attach it to your arm like that. Go through. See? So if you have something like this, you can put a pen on like this. So it'll be easy. Like you just take out your pen. I don't always remember to wear this, but it just looked like a little cute little wristlet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to my machine. Wait. So I probably do a video for you guys of this. I really like this. Um little flower thing okay let's go back over here okay so now we are going to be sewing 
this pocket onto the exterior um, fabric. I know it might be confusing when we use exterior and turf, you know, might not. So the exterior fabric is the fabric outside of, that's going to be facing out. So it'll be, it'll look like this. So this is the pocket. So we're doing this part right now with the pocket. Dang, that's a so scary. Oh. Is that why you I don't like pen? Uh, yeah, I always stab myself. Yeah, I used to stab myself sometimes, too. But I think, um, I mean, you can just use You probably don't even need pen. You can just clip the two edge. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done it, ma'am. I've already done it. Yeah. You have to use pen if you're not comfortable with pen. The next part you can just use all clip. Yeah. Sorry, I may use pens. Uh, you're good, you're good. Okay. <laughs> so, what are we doing now? Sew, you're just gonna sew it straight down the two edge. That's it. Just sew straight down. Like oh. the edge of the trim. Um, just sew it straight right here and then straight down. Here. Okay. I thought that's, we were that's doing it. the top and bottom too. Okay. Nope. That's that's the next part. Oy. It's we're almost done anyway. Almost done. My regular foot on there. Put back. Man, I feel like this is not straight anymore. No. Oh. Well. <laughs> huh? The dance would be perfect. It, this is a scrap project, anyways. So these are just piece of fabric that it, it's lying around. Okay. So that's, that's it. So we're gonna go build our sandwich again over here. Wait for me. Yeah, I wait will wait me. for you. I'm 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 gonna be over here. I'm just bring the lady back to the table so we can build a sandwich. Over here. Oh, um, yeah. You could, Sonia, that, that was a good idea, Sonia. You you could put the clips on the leaf like this. Let me show you. So for this little um wristlet, you can you can even put your clips oh, right okay, here. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you can do that. I I'll do a tutorial for you guys on these and I will link the pattern for this. This is a pattern I got from Etsy. I mean, yo, we I, we don't know how to draft I don't know how to I mean I don't think I know how to draft pattern yet. <laughs> so you can do that. I mean, everything we, all the pattern we've been using is just what we see on the, you know, people's blog or, um, or on Etsy. Maybe one day I will learn how to draft. I am in the process of learning, but my, my drafting skill is not there yet. So maybe in the future, because I, I do like to, um, I know how to do a little bit of alteration to the pattern, but not draft my own from scratch. Right, same. Yeah. I'm trying to understand the, um, I know a little bit of it. Like I know it's just, I haven't practiced it that I, I need to do some practice before I understand how to, you know, draw the body. But this is a simple project, so. Do anybody in here know how to draft patterns? Like their own clothing pattern? Okay. I'm doing oh, Mary's a sandwich. 
Yeah, well, we are making a um, Subway sandwich right now. So I'm going to put my two slices of ham. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Let me move That's this chair again. This is um, ham. And I'm put some. I put another piece of ham over here. And then I put the bread on top. This is the bread. The flat. <laughs> we are almost done, Nancy. This is the better try. Uh, second, so second crap. part. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which what tripod Ooh, look, you have? Look. I cleaned the room. Super clean. <laughs> I think usually when your daughter's be, up, that that yeah. be trash, right? <laughs> yeah, it'll be destroyed in the morning. Like within ten minutes. Okay, so what now? So the two flat. So you lay this flat like this with the zipper side on, on toward the right hand and then you just put the flat down. To match up with the style. Like okay. okay. And then you're gonna put the exterior. The interior the interior. This is the inside of the the other flat. And you're just gonna sandwich it like okay. that. Okay. That's it. That's and you're it. gonna I can do that. Yeah. That's that's all you're doing. Then clip it. You're just gonna clip so it. So this this right here, I had to I had to serge it together because it was two fat quarters. Oh, <laughs> so whoop. it's a sigh. Nobody see that that line, right? Right. That's why I didn't care. Yeah. That's gonna be a a design um part of the design. <laughs> right. Yeah. Design feature. Yep. This is like an element. Like a, they look like a quoted piece, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is gonna be a five eight five eight seam allowance, Nancy. So make sure you put okay. that down on five eight. I have no idea. Okay, I'll measure it. Out. <laughs> five. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't know, measure it with your ruler. Um, you have to yeah put the you have to put your um ruler right. Where the needle hit at, at mm -hmm. um, zero, and then measure it out from there yep, yep, yep. to see your five eight. So you, when you do this, we are gonna leave this flap open, Nancy. So the mm -hmm. side without the zipper, you you're not gonna sew that up. You're gonna just sew straight here down to wait, the wait. side. So when we sew, we're just gonna sew um, this edge this edge and this edge we're going to leave this edge open this is where it doesn't have the zipper so the zipper is on this side so you're not sewing this yeah you need to leave that open so we can um open it inside out Woo. Okay. so we're we're almost done here Maria, yes, yes, you can even do a quilted um, binder cover, Maria. Like the possibility are endless with this. Uh, we just went with simple for this tutorial, but we Nancy was talking about like uh, you know doing embroidery on the spine, even doing embroidery on the top here. And if you don't want the zipper pouch, you can do without zipper pouch and just um. Quilt, if you have a lot of scrap piece, like how Mary was doing her scrap quilt, you can do a scrap quilt to build up to like the length of this. I think, I think I'm gonna try that next time when I, I'm gonna uh, gather all my little scrap piece and just do like a quilting piece on it. Yeah. So, I'm you know, I can use up another one and embroider it. With, yeah, and I think I'm gonna try one with uh, scraps and build like the length of this so you can you can use all the scrap to build up to the length that you need and then you can just iron the fusible or even do the coal as you go um onto the fleece 
because I think Mary does. Mary, you done the the quote as you go, right? I never done the quote as you quote as you go before, but I'll see if I can't do that. I'll probably just piece everything together and then iron it onto the fusible leaf. So the the possibility is endless for this um, project and how you want your cover to be done. And it's gonna make your binder like super unique. Okay, I'm excited. So we're gonna come, come back to the sewing machine. I'm gonna take you guys back, close your eyes. So you guys don't get <laughs> you're making me dizzy over here. Just kidding. Yeah, I have to take up uh, my. Sorry, oh, guys. I measure. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. I I have the um all my equipment, but I have not set anything up. It's still sitting on my shelf. Like I'm still not set up yet. I don't even know when me. I probably have to make some time so you know you guys can see how the camera work. I have not tried using it yet. I think I'm so comfortable with using my phone that it's it's too convenient for for me to use a phone. <laughs> I don't I don't want to try to do the the camera, but I have to because I, I spend all that investment into the camera. So hopefully um, the next time I go live, I can set it up properly. So I don't have to be changing back like this where I have the camera at the cutting table so I can just change view. Okay, you ready to sew, Nancy? You? Yeah. Are you ready sewing? I just started, like literally just started. Okay. Five yeah, inches. I measured, I measured it out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I already measured mine, so we're going to go. Yeah, since this is a straight, um, straight stitch on, you guys can go. Oh, Nancy, I forgot. Did you put your zipper down? I didn't put it down. You need to open the zipper halfway, so you, so it doesn't get. Oh shoot! So... <laughs> yeah, that'd be um a good idea, huh? Yeah, we didn't do that. Then we were gonna fold the the zipper pull out. Oops. I totally forgot. Oh, lucky I caught it, you guys. Okay. You need to open your zipper halfway so it's it's inside so you don't sew over it. And then you're going to lose the zipper pull. You, you don't want to do that. Got my finger. <laughs> you almost got your finger. <gasps> yes. Let's see it. Dang, I don't like this. Okay, I messed it up. Because this is not even. So I'm going to go back. Yeah, neither is mine. They are not too even yet. I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay, there. Gotta go slow over. My Ooh. lining piece is too too long. So I'm gonna Do I need a back space line. over the teeth? Over the zipper? Nope. Like go I back. Do it. No? Nope. I mean you could since you don't have the fleece. It might not I mean just try without. I mean if if it comes off it then maybe next time you know that you need to go over it. But I only went just right through one time.
my line piece is too big. So I'm gonna try. Finger guard, yes, I need something. I almost did it the other day too on my surgery. Whew, scared me to death. Oh. Man, this side's not even perfect. Oh well. They are so not <laughs> perfectly stone. Let me see. I'm gonna try to make it perfectly. So when you go over the zipper, if your machine is not um, strong enough to go over the zipper, just go really slow. You can use your hand wheel to go over the zipper too. Okay, so now we're gonna go trim it. I just have to trim it now. So when you trim this, let me cover you guys. When you guys trim this, um, trim it like, leave about like a quarter inch and don't trim it through your sewing. So, because of all the bulkiness here, you're gonna trim it down. So next, when you're done, you can trim yours. Trim, trim all the edge down to like a quarter inch all the way around because it's it's at five eight now so try to trim it down okay. so look all these are just scraps yay it's almost done you said a quarter I think this is um well just trim it down as much as you can i leave it about like a quarter inch away from the sewing line that's how much i leave it i did that without the blade open yo pray for me hey corny stay blessed my t-shirt let me see anybody what did Robin? Let me see. Oh, Maria. <laughs> Sorry, Maria. That made you nervous about it. Yeah. I didn't use the ruler. Nancy, you're using ruler? Yeah. 
Oh, you are using ruler or just? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's using ruler. Yeah, I didn't. I just do this. Sorry, Maria. <laughs> yeah, but I I was really careful. I was watching where I was cutting, so I haven't sliced my finger. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's a little bit dangerous doing that. I was gonna use a scissor, but my scissor was too dull to cut through it. My line is crooked. Yeah. Real crooked. Uh, <laughs> oh, Courtney, you have a channel? On the 1922 project, yeah, Kelly. I follow her too. She also does embroidery and sewing tutorial. I didn't know that she did a quote yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, you are practicing safety, not me. So you guys don't do what I do if you guys are not comfortable. I, mean, I think I, I'm the one. I mean, I always cut fingers. my pattern. I always cut my pattern like this without the ruler because with pattern, you can't use a ruler because it's curvy. So I think the only time I have cut my finger is because I use the the ruler that Liz used, the metal one. That one was the worst. That one actually cut my finger. But I think this was okay because my finger wasn't close. I put my finger like far like this. But the I have sliced my finger just one time with that ruler. So I never use that metal ruler again. I don't mm -hmm. like that metal ruler. So Nancy, I'm gonna turn my inside out. I'm clipping my corners. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah. Clip your um, trim your corner too. Yeah, Maria. Yeah, the quilting uh, ruler is the best. It was before um, because I needed like a long ruler, so I try to use the. I try to use what, the, the meter um, stick. Yeah, and that's why I slice my finger, and I never do that again. But this one, this one wasn't long enough. I mean, this is the longest I have, but it wasn't long enough for um, the, you know, one time I was trying to slice through two layer fabric, and I I went to use my metal one. Oh my god! Lit. But I always use this one now. It's just that um, it was too thick for me to use the ruler, so I just wing it without using the ruler. But I know not to put my finger really close to the edge. Yeah. So poke your, um, poke your corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna poke all the corners. You don't need to top. I think if you top stitch, it's not gonna fit your binder. So we don't do top stitch on this. Okay. Hey, Invisible Angel. Invisible Angel, is she? She's here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Invisible Angel. Good evening. Hey Beth, good, be good oh, evening to you. Yeah. 
What time is it? No, no. So what are we doing with this open? Um, this that's why I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna show you right now. So once we finish all this, you're gonna turn this flap toward the front like this. So turn the Wait. flap over to the front side. So like so it's gonna be the so like this. Where's your pocket? Yeah. So this is the zipper pocket over here, and then okay, just, okay, yeah, that's how it, that's how it is. Yeah, and then you're just gonna sew five eight seam five eight seam allowance oh. on this side. That's it, and then you're gonna yeah. trim it and then flip it over, and that's all. That's the whole that's the whole project. So oh, we're goodness. almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys back to the sewing machine. Okay, there we go. Um. I use a blunt, a blunt tip um, color pencil to turn mine. Um, Maria says that she uses her machine's flathead screwdriver. I just use a blunt tip. Yeah. Then you can use whatever. Color pencil. I just use this wooden dowel. Yeah. Oh. Anything you that's like they put in chopstick, yeah. Anything that's a anything works because you don't want to yeah, go you... through the fabric. Yeah. And Ooh, shoot. I don't think you don't even need a bone folder for that. I mean, pe people, um, the bone folder is nice, but you can really use a chopstick or any stick you have. So you are gonna sew five five eight seam allowance again to close this side up. That's it. Can you go through there? I think mm -hmm. mine's good. So I'm gonna go slice mine. And I'm gonna use a ruler this time. <gasps> I'm struggling. Is it too thick? It's not wanting to go through. Oh. There we go. It was wanting to eat it. Do you have a binder to cut it out, Nancy? Yes. That's good. So I'm going to take you guys back over here so we can test it out on the binder. I'm going to use this binder. Where's my scissors? In here. But why? So you said trim it again, and then um, so you just trim trim it again. Yeah, I, I should use a leader fabric, but a leader scrap. But yeah, I got it eventually. Okay, so I'm almost... trimming this quarter of an inch. Yep, so I am making this one for a um, one and a half inch binder. So, Nancy, what size did you do? I did two inch. Okay, so two inch. So, Nancy made the two Hopefully inch. Hopefully, I did it right. Mm -hmm. you, you did cut like a 26.5, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. long? Okay. Okay, so I trimmed. Now I flip it. Go to my oh, the clip my corners. I guess. So poke all your corners out again. Thank you.
Oke, okay. this is a Ya, mau tahu ke? I know that Connie, not the, not our Connie's, um, not Scandi, but the other Connie, that she's excited for the thread catcher. So next week, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna plan, Ooh. and we're gonna do a thread catcher because I have too much, like scrap, on the sewing machine, and so I need a thread catcher. There, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really my best to uh, put up the information for you guys early. I know that this is kind of last minute, so if you guys uh, do this project, everything that's on the community tab also on this video. And then I'm gonna try my best to do like a more proper um, video. Cause I know live is just, it's a little bit long. I can't edit it, so. <laughs> Um, anything that I do on the live, I'll try to also do a video later too, so it can be edited. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Okay, I think, I think it's, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse excuse me. me. I could HTV something on here. Oh yeah, great idea, you guys. You guys could decorate this however you guys like. And mine, the pocket went right to the spine, so I have the whole spine available. Oh yeah. Open. Oh yeah, because yeah, yours are two inch. Did you already put yours in? Yeah. Where's there it? it is, right there. And there's the middle. Yeah. Oh, and then you open up, you see the pineapple. Let me see mine. It might fit perfectly. Yep, it does fit, you guys. Mine is a little, a little bit loose, but it's not gonna come off. Oh, it's not yeah, loose because enough, but it's gonna come off. Because you don't. But have I don't fleece, have the right? stabilizer in mine. Yeah. So Nancy doesn't have the fleece. So the fleece give a little bit body structure to it, yeah. but then it still works. It doesn't. Is is it too loose? Is it a little bit mm -hmm. loose? Like, mm -mm. I mean, you can tell it has a little bit of give, but it's not. Oh, yeah, gonna, it's not just gonna. It's not gonna yeah. come off. So you can do without the fleece too. So Nancy say it works. Yeah. So if you guys don't even have fleece, you guys don't even need fleece. It just, um, I think the fleece just gave it a little bit like fluff to it. <laughs> if you want the little fluff, you see how it's a little bit poofy right here. So yay, we did it. That's so cute. <laughs> All the cute thing. And then you, well, the, these pockets are not functional anymore since this is covering it. So, but you can use the pocket right here. I think you can even do slot right here too, right now. See if like if you want to do slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too lazy for that. Like if you want to do credit card slots, you guys can even make like a home management binder, and do you know slot for, or a notepad slot right here. You guys want to just mm -hmm. some ideas. This is just a basic basic binder. You could use this oh, yeah. as a slide in pocket. Mm hmm. But. Oh, thank you, uh, Beth. I think Nancy did more the tropical. I did more like the spring blossom. <laughs> <laughs> I only did this because this is the theme that I had the most selections of fabric. Oh, so. that's good. But Do you I guys have any more questions? Flowers. Yeah, this is Walmart. Thank you, everybody. Right? Yeah, you guys, did you guys like the project? I hope you that's guys make cool. some of your own. Okay, you guys. Um, and see what time is it? Eleven or eight twenty-three for you? Yeah, eight twenty-three for me. Okay, you guys. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us. And thank you. Next week, next week I will do a um, 
Do I catch her? So I'll see who want to be my guest or next week. <laughs> I'll see if um I'll talk on Discord if anybody want to be sewing the thread catcher with me. If you guys want to make your own, because do you have a thread catcher, Nancy? Do you have one? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that I was the talking film. about like the little yeah, like make your own. Oh uh, no, I don't. <laughs> So yeah, so we are going to make that. Oh, Pia. Good evening. Thank you so much, Pia. <laughs> Did you just got on or you were on here for a while, Pia? How are you now? My little pocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you idea. too, Angel. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So the pocket, oh, the pocket is really deep. So you really yeah. can. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Nancy. I didn't say anything. I oh. didn't say anything. It's a deep pocket, you guys. <laughs> so you, you, you can um put a lot of things through it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. keep it PG-13. Yeah, Pia was on earlier. Oh, I didn't see Pia. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Liz, how deep, how deep, man. Okay, let me measure for you, Liz. <laughs> it's about nine inch, ooh, nine, nine inch deep, Liz. I don't think that was a serious question, Z. Uh-oh, <laughs> she took herself off. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh no, where'd she go? There she uh, is. What happened? <laughs> Liz broke my internet connection. <laughs> Liz. My name is oh, oh my connection. god. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's we know that it's late for Liz, so she uh yeah, she's it's thinking hard. You know better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um uh <laughs> We gotta let you guys go, okay? Cause um, it's bedtime. So yep. I'll see you guys next week for a different sin and so. And I will have another guest so with me. So it'll, it'll be fun. So we have two people sewing. Make you sure guys, you um, share the the stuff beforehand so that we have enough time to gather material. I know it was my fault for this one. I was supposed to share on Friday, and I I just did it this <laughs> whole morning. But I hope that I just, mean just. you can do it after but i'm gonna put up the the stuff for uh, the thread catcher tomorrow I'm yeah because i want to make one along with you so okay okay so we can make it to it so i will i will write up everything okay you guys take care bye, bye. thanks for hanging out okay, bye nancy <laughs> bye <laughs> okay, bye ladies <laughs> bye everyone <laughs> After party, and I'm just kidding. I don't After know. Party, yeah, what? in the Discord. Yeah, Discord party, you guys. The VIP people go on Discord. <laughs> By invite only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, you guys. Go to bed. Bye. Okay. <laughs>